Ever wondered if there is a secret to lasting happiness and how you can create it? If you're watching this video, I'm sure you want to learn how to become happy or happier. And if you watch this video till the end, you'll get the five vital keys on how to be happy and create lasting happiness. Keys that you can apply immediately in your life, just like I did. Hey, this is Livia Nemet and this is Thrive Tank TV, the place to be to achieve your highest potential and fulfill your dreams in business and life. If you did not subscribe yet to my channel, click on the button below and the bell to be notified immediately. Happiness is one of the most studied areas in the human endeavors of the world. Because we all want to be happy, but we do not all know how. Therefore, I decided to make every week new videos for you on happiness, success, wealth, living your highest potential and fulfilling your dreams in business and life. You know, when I was young, I only saw mainly unhappy people around me. And thus it became my quest to know why some people are happy and others aren't. And how we can all be happy. That is why I started to research this subject so deeply. Did you see that the happiest people around you are more healthy, successful and wealthy? In this video, I'm going to share with you the five vital keys to lasting happiness that I learned and implement every day and that transformed my life totally. And so it can transform yours. Are you ready? Think of moments that you were really happy in your private life or relationship. Why were you happy? What were you doing? Did it matter a lot what you were doing? With whom were you doing it? Write it down. Now think of a moment that you were really happy in your job or business. Why were you happy? What were you doing? Who was there? Was it in line with your values? When you ask yourself these questions, you might have realized that there were several ingredients why you felt truly happy in the moment. Number one, you did something you liked to do. Number two, there was a person or people who you liked or you loved a lot or for whom you wanted to make a difference. Number three, you were totally in the moment. You used the power of now. When you felt at the happiest, you were doing one thing with your full attention and loved to do it. Or you did something you thought you couldn't do and you did it anyway. Recall that? Number four, you are doing something that matters most to you, what reflects your values of who you really are. If you are a loving person and love to care for others, you might recall a moment when you were really able to make someone smile because of how you cared for them. If you are a family person and you love to travel, you might recall a moment you were traveling with your family. If you're value knowledge, then you might recall a moment that someone taught you something that made a huge impact in your life or that you taught something to others that others appreciated a lot. If you are a professional athlete, you might recall a moment where you gave your all. So what can we learn from that? Ralph Waldo Emerson said, some pursue happiness and others create it. So what can be learned from those who create happiness, no matter what happens? Happiness that will last for the rest of their lives? Number one, decide to lead a happy life. Happiness does not happen to you, you need to make it happen. And you need to add the ingredients to your daily life that will bring that happiness in your life. Think of when you cook for yourself or someone else. If you do not add salt to your dish, it will not taste. You need to decide to add salt and maybe other herbs or spices to make it an even more tasteful dish. 
No matter how expensive the ingredients are that you buy for your dish, it will not taste without salt and the appropriate herbs and spices. Does it make sense? Have you ever tasted a delicious dish? And why was that? There was unique harmony in the preparation and all the ingredients, including salt, herbs and peppers, spices, made it unique and delicious. Do you remember any restaurant that you feel to go back to again and again because they do exactly that? That is just like how you can brighten up your day by doing many simple things intentionally that keep you happy. So put salt and spices and herbs in your everyday life and you will brighten up your days, not only for yourself but also for others. Happiness lies in the simple things you do and the way you do it. When you apply this, you will notice an immediate change not only in your own happiness but also in the happiness of all those around you. Now you also need to know that if things are not going for you the way you want, even in times of crisis, you have only one choice and that is to keep a positive vibe. Do things that keep you positive and courageous and take a positive lesson out of something that happened to you in the past. If it wasn't for my dad, who ended his life when I was nine, I would probably not be doing this subject with you right now. Understanding how important it is to learn to be happy and create your own happiness can make all the difference, not only in your own life, but also in the lives of those around you. So make it your top number one priority. Number two, love who you are. Accept yourself as you are. Our self-concept is often inaccurate. We can look at ourselves as unlovable or lovable. Who decides? Only you decide. Want an example? Nick Wojcik was born without limbs. He almost drowned himself, but then he learned to love himself for who he was. And then everything changed in his life. Instead of feeling pity for himself, he used all his energy to make a difference. And he became an amazing example for others. Today he is married and has two beautiful children. And he is a highly demanded speaker and has written many books. Please check out his books. Number three, love life. Live life to the fullest. Do what you love to do. Do what you're good at. And if you don't know what you love to do, try out new things. Discover all the things this world has to offer to you that you can try out. Be curious and live your dreams. Number four, love and spread love. Build loving and fulfilling relationships. Did you know that Harvard did a study of adult development on happiness for 75 years that is still continuing today? They tracked the life of the fortunate and unfortunate in Boston on all levels. And their finding is that having fulfilling relationships is the key component to happiness in life. And to be more specific on what you can do, to create fulfilling relationships, psychologists studied and have scientifically proven that one of the greatest contributing factors to overall happiness is on how much gratitude you show to those you love or care about. So start spreading the love by those who mean so much to you. Write them a letter, give them a call. And you will not only make yourself a happier person, but also the person you appreciated so much. Spread love every single day to those known and unknown to you, to those blood-related and not blood-related to you, and happiness will come back to you. Do watch my video, How to be happy, successful and wealthy, where I tell two stories that can literally transform your life. Yes, my friend, it's the relationships that you build every single day by giving love and spreading love, known or unknown to you, blood-related or not, that will help you live a happy life. Number four, live the highest expression of yourself. This was my struggle for many years. 
because I was putting up a mask at work. I had a good job and a title and a car of the company, but I was a half-baked version of my true self. I had embraced ideals of parents and peers in an attempt to be accepted. It was only later that I realized that I was not only doing myself, but also others a disfavor of not being my authentic self. So discover your talents, your dreams, and your passions. Do what you love, and you will have that glimmer in your eyes. That shines through in everything you do. Aristotle said, The best life is to try to understand what that self is and to become it. Oprah Winfrey said, Often we do not even realize who we are meant to be because we are so busy trying to live out someone else's ideals. Decide you are free from who you thought you had to be and become your authentic self. To know more about that, go and watch my video, Rewrite Your Story. And remember, even if you do not feel good about yourself, remember that you're perfect, just as you are, just like Nick Wojcik. Give good meaning to what happened to you and do not let it limit you. Decide that it will be your stepping stone to help others. If you are your authentic self, you will be a happier person. Not just one day, but you will shine every single day. Number five, leave a legacy. Give yourself to a cause that is far bigger than you. Everybody I know that became truly happy signed up for something bigger than them. So did Nick Wojcik. Limitations, lacking limbs, did not matter anymore. Because even with these limitations, he could not just make a difference. He had an amazing impact on millions of people's lives and transforms them still every day. Do you know any other people that had many limitations in their lives but managed to be happy and live a legacy their way? Here is my story. 15 years ago, I fell in a depression because I worked too hard and had lost touch with who I truly was and what truly mattered to me. I did not know anymore what I wanted and what made me happy. And as a result, I got serious health issues. I was diagnosed with two and then later with three chronic diseases and suffered from financial difficulties as well. It was in a split second that I knew that I had to make a very important decision or I would be a victim of what happened to me and go in welfare or I had to overcome this no matter what and give my life to a cause bigger than myself so that one day I could help others overcome them as well. My difficulties and hardship became my stepping stone. Only later did I understand the power of choice that we all have a choice on how we react to what happens to us. To learn from it, to get back on our feet and share our stories and leave a legacy. And I can tell you, since I decided to live my legacy, to overcome all my problems, to never be a victim anymore, I did not only have that burning unstoppable fire in within, I was happy and healthy and successful every single day and became wealthy. And so can you. So let's summarize the five vital keys to happiness. Love life. Love yourself. Love those around you. Live the highest expression of yourself. Give yourself to a cause bigger than yourself and spread love. And your talents will go wherever you go. And you will able to leave a legacy. Let me know which vital keys resonated most with you. What will you do today to become a happier person? Do like and subscribe to this channel. We are here to help you thrive and achieve your dream business and dream life. I have a free gift for you. When you go to our site thrivetank.com, you can get immediate free access to a free training, the six secret habits of highly successful people. Thank you for watching. 
I believe in you. Unleash that diamond within. Share your brilliance. Go out there and shine. Because the world needs the beauty. That's you.